So I'm back home from seeing the Buckingham's at the Golden Nugget, and it's really good. It was really good as usual. Um, I just came home like a few minutes ago. I'm already in my pajamas. And I took Lyft going and back going there and coming home because Lyft is always cheaper going to downtown or the Strip than Uber for some strange reason. And I took Uber, not Uber, I took Lyft rideshare the pool their pool because even though i have a 10 percent discount for their ride share i mean for their single ride it was still cheaper <laughs> you're getting the glare from the light um it's, it was still cheaper doing the pool than it was for um the ride share go figure or and but um Coming home, okay, when you're in the golden go in the golden nugget, their lift their before their drop off and pick up was at the same spot, the Carson's Tower by the Starbucks. But now they changed it. I don't know when they changed it, because I haven't been there since October when I last saw the Buckingham's. Um drop offs is still at the same spot, but pickups you have to go to the parking, their self-parking garage on the second floor for pickup, which made it much easier. I mean, it's not less, it's less congestion and all that. But when I got the, my ride, he called me because there was a bus sit, just sitting there, not moving. So I went and um, met him. And of course, by the time I got there, the bus moved. <laughs> and... Um, we started talking, you know, about, you know, sports, because he was listening to those sports radio, and, um, you know, I told him about my situation currently, and he was telling me about his, and he was asking about, you know, if I'm keeping the house, and this and that, and, I'll, and then I'll, he's asked if I was considering renting you know, renting a room out and how many bedrooms and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, of course I'm telling him I should have known because he was asking if um, I would rent a room to him. Because I, when he asked, first he asked if I was willing to rent, you know, was thinking about renting a room, room out. And I'm like, no, because I don't, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to rent a room to a complete stranger because you never know and like he's like yeah that's true yeah good point. point blah, blah, blah. but then he continues to ask if i'm wondering to, if um he can rent a room in the garage you know for his car and all that he's like i got seven jobs and blah 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 i'm like and I'm like i just i'm thinking to myself i just said i don't want to rent to a complete stranger you're still a complete stranger <laughs> So, and he's like, I'll pay, you know, blah, blah, blah. Even, you know, I'll pay blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm still thinking, no. <laughs> so, yeah, there, that's that fun. And then um, earlier today, because I forgot to mention this in my first morning vlog, that I did order a new um, SD card for my digital camera. And that should be coming tomorrow. And hopefully I won't rock that one. And um, what else did I do? Oh, I scheduled a pickup for Thread Up for Monday. And there was something else besides. Oh, and then I um, emailed the um, the guy that helped me arrange make the final arrangements for my mom's funeral about getting grief counseling. You know, after talking to my financial guy, because he really stressed that I needed that, because I'm, you know, by myself, and uh, I emailed him about it. He forwarded the email to his boss, who's also one of the co-owners of the, co -owners of the funeral home, and she suggested contacting the hospice where my mom went, because they do grief counseling about uh, once a month. And I was like, I wrote back saying that 
when I went to see her for the last time, it cost me round trip thirty dollars on um, Uber or Lyft. I forget what I took, but yeah, um, so that would have been a no. But um, she did contact the chaplain there, and he called me, and we talked a little bit, and um, he was like, you know, he asked if I was working. I go no, because it's not been that long since she passed away and I'm still working through things you know getting things in order and uh, he was like well you need a job I'm like no kidding and uh, but then he um, mentioned like two churches by the house because he knows I don't drive and that was another thing he was like trying to he got on me about but um, he mentioned two churches close to my house. And I'm like, I'm Jewish. <laughs> and he's like, I think I threw him, a, <laughs> threw him for a loop for that one. He's like, oh, um, 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 I'll get back to you. I got to do some research on that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, after I got off the phone, I was like kind of ticked I, about, you know, him saying, you know, I need a job. I mean, my financial guy said that, but he understood. It hasn't been that long since she passed away. So I got off the phone, and I said to myself, no, hmm, I need a job. It's a, give me a break. It's only been a month since she passed. I mean, it's been over a month, a little over a month, but still, it's not that long since she passed away. Cut me some slack. And then he, um, before he, we got off the phone, he asked for my email so he can keep contact that way and he emailed me you know to make sure that I got the you know his email address and he's like have you looked into working at such and such place it's by the I looked it up it's by the house because it sounded familiar and um it's a assistant living place now even though I would probably I looked into it and they didn't have any administration jobs that I would qualify for because that's what I would do. Um, besides that, an assisting living place or a caretaking type facility, that's the last place I would want to work right now. You know, after taking care of my mom and all that, that's the last place I would want to work. And no offense for those who do, but right now, I'm mean, I can't do that. So that kind of ticked me off a little bit. And I, you know, mentioned it on Twitter. I vented on Twitter. Using a little bit stronger language, I did censor <laughs> uh, myself. So, yeah. And then at the concert tonight, you know, I was... I mean, I had no reason to blubber. But I did. Not a full-on cry, but, you know... Every once in a while, tears would form, and I was crying. That's probably why I look a little red here, because <laughs> I was crying. I wasn't blowing my nose or anything, but yeah, can't, no, yeah, probably tell. So yeah, that's my fun e afternoon and evening, and um, I'm going to close it here, and thanks for watching.